Hi, this is Ben here. In our first tutorial, we looked at how to get a first attack going. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about why you started overheating and start talking about how you can defend yourself in Hack Wars. So first off, we're going to get an attack going against an NPC. Now I'm just going to skip ahead a second and we're going to see what happens after a few seconds because what's going to happen is the NPC, like in other games, is going to attack us back. Now what's this going to do? The health on our attack port should start going down, which we see right here. So. What does this do? As we're attacking, if the health goes down in our attack port, we're going to see that the CPU load associated with the attack goes up. If this ever goes above 100%, we overheat. So I'm going to heal so that I can try to win this fight. But one important thing that we can keep in mind is that, like in other games, just because I've stolen a file or stolen money from someone's bank, it doesn't mean that the NPCs stopped attacking me. They're going to continue attacking me until they're done killing my port. So what we have to be careful of is to always keep an eye on our health and to make sure that we don't launch an attack when it's fairly low because this is this will cause us to instantly overheat because as I said you only overheat if you're attacking and your attack ports, is low, ports health is low so I've just finished my attack after healing a few times I'm going to take this file now I'm going to show you exactly what happens if I were to launch an other attack immediately with my health fairly low what we should see is that my computer overheats so I'm just going to go ahead right now and launch another attack So there you have it, I almost immediately overheated. Now, what's a good way to protect against this? One, we could have waited until our port was healed again, so we waited until the NPC finishes attacking us, gets bored, and we heal. Two, which I'm going to show you right now, after we heal back from being overheated, obviously, is we can buy a firewall. Now what's this going to do for us? When we're power leveling, attacking NPCs, a firewall will make sure that we uh, take less damage while they're counterattacking us. This also works against players, so we're going to go to Firewall in the store, and I'm going to buy myself a basic Firewall, but first let's take a look at what we have to look forward to. At higher levels, Firewalls can do damage to opponents trying to attack your port, so without doing a counterattack, you can just deal them a bit of damage. And they also st start to stop more and more damage the better the Firewall you get. But we're just going to get the first one, because we don't have $3 million right now. So I'm going to buy that, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on my port. So I'm going to put it on my attack port. This is best for starters because it will s reduce the amount of damage that my attack port takes while I'm attacking an NPC. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the, po the port's firewall icon, click replace firewall, and we're going to install the firewall we just bought. Now, like everything in Hackwars, there's a CPU cost associated with this. So we see it went from 20 CPU to run this attack port to 24. This is because of the firewall we just installed. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is get another attack going. And what we should see when we finally get counterattacked, we'll have to eyeball it a bit, but we should see that we take a bit less damage. Alright, so coming back, we should see that our damage goes down a bit slower as I get counterattacked. And you know what it seems to be? Also, we'll notice that I get experience every time it stops damage. This is how you get firewall experience. The better your firewall level, the better the firewalls you can buy from the store. So you'll be able to stop more damage and do neat stuff as you level it up. So this is good to do. So this is all well and good for when we're power leveling attack. It means that we overheat slower, which is great. But one thing I want to point out about Hackware's gameplay is this. Your computer can be attacked without you being online. So it's up to you to set up automated defenses to keep track of who's been doing mean things to your computer. And to, you can even eventually set it up so it counterattacks them. So basically your computer can defend itself when you're not around to do it for it. So how do we do this? We do this with another type of program, not the ones we install on our ports. We do it with something I call watches. So I'm going to buy myself a watch from the store. We install this to look at certain events that happen to your computer. So basically you set up an AI for your computer. So we're going to go to watches and I'm going to buy something called a health watch. Now all watches are essentially the same because they're actually programmed by other players and they drop off NPCs. But th this is basically the name gives you an idea of how you should install it. And we're going to talk about this in a second. Now health watch, what you're going to want to do with it is have it keep an eye on the health of one of your ports. So it watches one of the ports on your computer basically. Um, so I'm going to go to the watch manager, which is slightly different than the port manager, but the watches we install do cost CPU like ports. So there's still this idea of you always have to balance the amount of CPU you're using. And as you buy better CPUs, you can do more interesting stuff with watches, have more programs going, and have better firewalls. So this is important to notice. So anyways, I'm now going to install this watch I just bought. We're going to notice that there's three types of, types of watches we can choose from. There's a health watch, which keeps an eye on the health of your port. There's a petty cash watch, which keeps an eye on the health or the amount of money in your petty cash. 
and there's a scan watch that keeps an eye on whether or not your computer's been scanned. So, what does this mean? A health watch will fire when your health goes below a certain point, and then you could say counterattack your opponent, or just keep an eye on their IP, so that next time you log on to your computer, you can see what IPs have attacked you. This is great. Um, a petty cash watch keeps an eye on whether your money goes above a certain amount. So you can keep an eye on whether you've gotten your daily pay, someone's transferred you money, and you can even automatically deposit it eventually. A scan watch finally keeps an eye on when someone hits the scan button on your computer to check what ports you have. I'm going to give you an example of the neat stuff you can do with this in a bit, but this is basically what we have to keep in mind. So anyways, we're, go we're going to pick the port we want it to watch, and the type it is. So it's a health watch, the one we just bought. Um, so we pick health from this pull-down menu, which means it's going to keep an eye on one of our port's health. Then we're going to, after we pick that, we're going to have to pick which port we want it to watch. Um, I think my attack's port 2. Just let me check. Oh, actually, it's port 1. So we have to keep an eye on this. We can change it after the fact, but I'm going to change it down to port 1 and install the watch. So there you have it. It's in the watch manager now. What do we have to keep in mind? We can see it's a health watch. This is the first thing to notice. And now we're going to set the health value it fires on, using set health value. I want it to fire as soon as I start taking damage, so if I go below 99 health on my port, it's going to fire. Um, lastly, we need to turn it on, and we can notice that there's a 5 CPU cost associated with it. So we see that the percentage of my CPU used goes from 70% to 80%. So, I know this stinks when you're low level, but it basically just means you have to level up as soon as possible and get yourself a better CPU. That's what it comes down to, and then you can do much more interesting stuff. One other thing we should keep in mind about watches is that we're going to get experience for them whenever they fire. So if, I, if we get money in our bank yes, and the yes. one fires, we'll get experience for that. If our health goes below the point and this one fires, we'll get experience for that. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start an attack on an NPC and we're going to see the watch fire. So let's run this and let's watch the port health and let's watch the watch fire and we'll see exactly what happens. So. Alright, so coming back we see that as we start to take damage, uh, the watch is going to fire. So what does this mean? Well, that one happens to log to our log window. So we see here the IP is now in our log window, and we could use this to keep track of who's attacked us while we're offline, and we could get revenge on them. Um, and Hack Wars, a lot of it is about revenge. Anyways, I'm cancelling the attacks so I don't overheat, and I just wanted to show you those watches working. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a slightly more complicated watch, and it kind of gives you an idea of just how complicated stuff can get. So, but what are watches? You can get other players to make them for you, and you can get them to do pretty complicated things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up in the web browser. I specifically know a website that counterattacks me if I even scan them and tries to steal my money. This is something you could do eventually. So I'm going to just type in the IP of this website into my scan, which we saw last time we had a tutorial, and I'm going to see what happens when I scan them. So I'm just typing in the IP I found. Uh, don't worry about the IP address, I just happen to know that this website's a jerk. And I'm going to scan them for $10, and let's take a look at my port health, just like we were looking at earlier. Notice that suddenly my bank starts going down in health, this is weird. All I did was scan them. Now, we're going to see that the second I hit zero, oh, but the money's gone for my petty cash. This is the kind of mean stuff people can do to you with watches, and the kind of interesting defenses you can start to set up. That's all done through AI, through your watches. It's important to get a handle on these. They're a major part of Hack Wars, and they make the game a lot easier and a lot more fun. And we're going to talk to you in the next tutorials about some of the other exciting stuff you can do using programming and some of the other game features. So, see you soon. <laughs>